Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to cover one of the suppliers uh, for sentiment trading. So let me just bring you through to the Quantopian website. Uh, under the Quantopian website, if you come to the data and you select data, they have these institutional quality data feeds uh, directly poured into Quantopian. Now, within this uh, database, um, there are a lot of suppliers, varies from sentiment to machine learning, uh, and on and on it goes. So today, uh, in this lesson, what I am going to go through and cover is this supplier or vendor called um, Psych Signal. So you can actually look them up. We're going to go and cover Psych Signal. Right, um, as I click Psych Signal, you can see that there are one, two, three, four uh, different Psych Signal comes up. Uh, the first one is Twitter Trader Mood, um, all the fields with retweets. The second one is Twitter and Stock Tweet Trader Mood. The third one is just Twitter Trader uh, Mood with no tweets, no retweets at all. And the last one is just Stock tweets uh, trade the mood so in essence what you are looking at is that there are basically two main data source one is stock tweets the other one is twitter and the variant of that is one is with retreat um, the other one is without retweet at all so in this lesson uh, i am going to go in and cover this featured uh, stock tweets trade the mood so what you can do is just select that um, and they, have, they do provide example algorithm. Um, I'll leave that with you to cover that, uh, to go through that. I'm gonna cover a different algorithm with you. But first of all, we're gonna explore the data sets just to understand how it works before we actually start uh, going and go in and to develop the um, back testing and also algorithm. So this stock tweet, uh, Trader Mood, uh, covers the mood of traders posted uh, on the stock tweets. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with stock tweets, uh, it works a little bit like Twitter. So let me just um, bring that up. And stock tweets works a little bit like Twitter, except that it is for traders or stock market investors. And you can see that the actual nature of it is a bit different because all the tweets are purely uh, in the area of stocks only now tweeters obviously cover many different aspects and people you know it covers from politics to sports and and all sorts whereby in this situation you are talking about purely uh, just stocks only so it's a really really rich source of data and quite often as we will show later that they are actually alpha embedded in these um, uh, tweets itself so let's come back here within the stock tweets um, the excess status this is one of the reasons why i want to actually cover this vendor is that you have full access to the whole data set so it, it is provided completely free the only uh, i guess caveat is that you do need to use or make use of the quantopian platform but the difference though is that uh, even though you code it in the quantopian platform you can still turn this algorithm once you're happy with it turn it into a live algorithm uh, because Quantopian can port through to interactive brokers or Robinhood, either of these brokers will be able to execute your algorithm for you live. I will show you uh, how to do that in future videos. So how do you use this? There are actually two so-called uh, way to import this library. If you are using this um, pipeline within the actual um, backtester or ID itself, this is the line that you use from quantopian.pipeline.data site signal import stock tweets. But if you are in the actual Quantopian research platform, uh, you use this. All right. So from quantopian.interactive.data. signal import stock tweets. The difference is the word pipeline and interactive okay so that's the difference so just be careful which one you use in which environment that you're using it because it does matter 
Um, what are the so-called QE matrices or data that is provided? You have the bull score messages, uh, which provide uh, the total count of bullish sentiment messages scored by Psych Signals algorithm. And the second one is the beer scored messages. So it's the total count of bearish sentiment messages scored by Psych Signal algorithm. And third and last one is the total scanned messages number of messages coming through a psych signals feed and attributable to a symbol regardless of whether the psych signal sentiment engine can score them for bullish or bearish intensity okay um there are various notebooks algorithms and posts that use this data uh, i'm gonna just quickly go to this post and i'm gonna go through and walk through psych signal uh, web main website with you so that you can actually have a look through it now the price as I mentioned before is free uh, the time span of data goes back to 9th of July 2009 and is ongoing uh, so that's why it's actually a really ideal um, vendor source for you to actually uh, play around to just explore it is free and it allows you to actually really get a hang of how the actual signal that's coming through from this source of data so I mentioned before there's some example notebook which is provided here uh, I won't go through this I'm gonna close that off and move that elsewhere uh, I will use a separate um, notebook I want to walk through with you step by step now about the company itself psych signal let me just move that away too okay uh, what do they do all right so they basically quantify the mood of traders okay they use their own uh, custom logic uh, to actually score the bullishness or bearishness of each tweets okay so they use natural language uh, processing engine in, in essence really it's um, machine learning okay to interpret social media text in the context of stock price so this is focused on the actual domain of stock trading uh, rather than trying to actually taking all the source from multiple um, multiple vendors uh, so they basically just got it from either stock tweets or tweeters uh, some other um, providers cover newspapers uh, some get it from Reuters some get it from Wall Street journals or s sourcing multiple um, sources so uh, those obviously have different so-called legitimacy or reliability whereas um, this is purely stock tweets and also uh, tweeters only so we can later on compare to other uh, vendors just to actually get a little bit of difference uh, flavor so that you can actually see how they actually uh, play out okay so um other things that they do provide uh, things such as research uh, they have case studies they have white papers a place to actually go through and study them just to actually I get the hang of and understand how uh, the actual sentiment can actually in fact impact signals so one of the uh, so-called case studies uh, that I won't go through here today but I'll just highlight highlight it for you you can actually send an email uh, uh, to a psych signal and request for the actual um, paper itself they'll be very happy to share that with you a um, couple of things is that the social media can actually have an impact on intraday volatility because it picks it up okay it picks up if something is happening to a certain stocks or the indices indices people will start tweeting okay and the other thing that the um, sentiment can affect is actual actually the correlation structure if you go back to the fundamentals of how correlation is calculated it's related uh, closely related to a standard deviation so as volatility goes up either because of people tweeting or there are some sort of activities going on and the actual sentiment picks it up it obviously will impact have an impact on the stock market correlation structure between stocks and between uh, you know inter uh, stocks now other things is that it also uh, helps you in terms of absolute momentum strategies uh, this is with respect to the s p 500 and finally uh, it goes back to the pairwise correlation structure at the end of the day just always remember uh, go back to the so-called mathematical equation of what correlation is 
correlation is really the covariance between two stocks and divided by the standard deviation. So standard deviation is obviously the volatility. As the volatility picks up or go down, it will have an impact on the actual correlation itself. Okay, um, there are other um, parts to the website I won't go through now. I'm going to move on and actually start talking about the actual uh, so-called signal itself. So this is the website. Please do um, visit it. Go to data and type uh, psych signal. It will bring it up for you. Um, just for this uh, lesson for this course, I'm only going to focus on stock tweets rather than uh, looking at all the other so-called different um, data source that they have. Earlier, remember, we saw that there were actually four of them, but in this case, we're just going to focus on um, purely one data source.